There's a new version of Bagger Pie. Let's take it for a quick spin. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now when Bagger Pie first released, I honestly could not sing its praises any higher. It's an absolutely fantastic add-on. It is available for free. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But recently the developer got in contact and he says, look, I've got a new version coming out. There is a commercial aspect to it and it's the asset pack. Any chance you could give it a quick review? So just so everybody's on the same page, there is an affiliation link down below and it's $45. Now you're probably thinking, oof, 45 bucks, quite expensive mate. Now I actually broke it down and it worked out to 19 cents per asset, so checks and balances. And it does go up in price in a week or two, I think it goes up to $69. So if you want to save a bit of cash, now might be the best time. I'm not here to sell you a product, I'm here to kind of show you it. Completely up to you whether you buy it or not. Now, as a standalone application, Bag of Pie is fantastic. Just for the array tools alone, the scattering tools are an extra bonus and things like the boolean tools, fantastic. So you can see here, we have a couple of new options and one of these is the beam wire, check this out. Now, because these are parametric or geometry nodes, you can actually change the variables. You can change how many counts, you can change the height, we can mess about with it, pretty cool. So you can select the ground object, you can hit J and we'll add in another beam wire here and we'll just quickly change some of the options here. But check this out, this is my favourite. We press J, we have an Ivy generator, so we can click Ivy. How good is that? How quick is it as well? It's great. So we'll hit J, we'll add Ivy here. And you can see here it actually creates an empty in the scene, so we can actually control where the Ivy kind of lands. Oh, it's magic. So I'm going to select the ground plane, I'm going to press J, and you can see here we now have these assets at the right hand side. So we can scatter using just normal scattering, we can scatter with the paint, which is always good fun, so hit asset. Now I actually spoke to the developer about these menus being empty. It says once you click on an asset, I'll actually populate the menu. It's a limitation with Blender. He's working on a newer version that should hopefully resolve this. So just keep that in the back of your mind in case you think things are broken here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select rocks. Now these are the assets regarding the rocks and they actually hold up to the camera very well. Now you have some low poly options, but you also have photo scanned rocks. Now if you own Grassworld, and this is one of these things you need to think about. If you own Grasswald or you own Botanic or one of these applications, do you need to spend another $45 on assets? That really is your decision and I can't make that for you. So let's select a rock. It'll automatically put us into paint mode and we can quickly just paint these. Now I've got a pretty small scene here. <laughs> Should have made it a little bit bigger. But as you can see here, we can quickly paint rocks in. Perfect. I can quickly go back into object mode. I'm going to select the ground plane. I'm going to press J. And I'm just going to scatter grass on all the assets. So we'll go to grass and these are the grass assets. So you have some low poly options. You have some pretty photorealistic options. I'm going to select, let's select this one. Now it looks a little bit bare. So if we open up the menu on the right hand side, we can go to bag a pie. And we can actually control the variables of the scattering. So we can change things like the random position, how much of the density. So I'm going to put the density right up. Spank it. Why not? We can change things like the scale, the rotation. We pretty much have full control over the instancing. So I was speaking to the developer over on Discord and every now and again he would jump into the Discord and we would actually get to see the process of how these assets were created. So some are photo scanned like I mentioned and some are geometry nodes. So for example, we can do a scatter and we can just quickly drop in something like a tree. And because it's geometry based, you can change things like the season, the brightness of the asset, stuff like this. It's pretty clever to be honest. Now it's actually dropping down a proximity object here. Trees are pretty damn dense and it's good for the viewport. It saves on viewport performance, but you can actually take this off if you want. For example, if we go to the Bagapai modifier, we can hide the viewport and we have this nice tree. So I'm just going to quickly put this here. So that's looking pretty damn cool to be honest. And if you have things like geo cables enabled, I'm just going to quickly create a couple of cables like so, just to kind of make the scene a bit more interesting. So let's take a look at some of the other assets and we'll quickly wrap this video up. So let's look at some plants. These are looking pretty damn good to be honest. Let's grab some sunflowers and we'll quickly paint these in the scene. Let's put them in the background like so. Oh, that's nice. I'm easily amused. <laughs> Just painting on geometry is pretty damn cool. And as you can see here, we can quickly bash a scene together. And that is pretty much bag of pie. Is it worth the 45 bucks? Definitely. If it goes up to 69, uh, you might need to think about it to be honest. So I think it's probably best I sound like a shell here, but it's probably best getting it when it's cheaper than it is more expensive. You understand what I'm saying? 
Anyway, do me a favour guys, please support third party developers, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.